not the best of starts, I suppose, for you guys at this World Cup. I mean, how are the team reflecting on that loss today? Um, you know, you know, it's, we've not been at, it's not hurting us so badly at the moment. Um, we do understand that it's just our first game, and we probably just played against the favourites. Um, obviously, they they beat us quite convincingly, but I thought at times we did play good cricket. We did give them at times did keep them at trouble or at bay. Um, so yeah, no, we're not too disheartened. Um, you know, I thought at uh, at the halfway stage, I thought I think they were the more nervous team than we were. Um, but saying that, they still came out. They bowled well. Jofra Archer, obviously, good wheels, good areas. Um, bowled really well and just kept us at bay, especially up front there. Hmm. There's been a hell of a lot of talk on these shows about Archer, whether he should be included and how threatening he is as a bowler. You, you've, you've, you've faced him today and just describe what, what he's like. <coughs> yeah, I've faced Jofra actually a couple of times now. I mean, he's a proper bowler. Um, he's not balls with good good heat, um, good areas, got good skills, um, and he backs himself, which is which probably helps him. Um, and, you know, he's very well suited to this England bowling attack. Um, he just brings them wicket taking options, um, and yeah, he'll probably he'll probably end up doing very well for for England, not during this, just the the World Cup, but in the future years also. I suppose with this kind of round robin tournament. Um, as you say, you can't get too disheartened when you lose a game. Teams will lose games and still go through to, to knockouts. Um, so what's the mindset now looking ahead to the, to the Bangladesh fixture? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, like, like I say, you can't, we can't be too disheartened. It's our first game. We've got, still got plenty of games to go. Um, so we're just going to go back, um, do our analysis, obviously playing on this wicket now. Now, obviously, it should help us going in on Sunday. Um, I think we'll understand the conditions a little bit better. And yeah, hopefully that will just uh, keep us in good stead going forward. I mean, in terms of England, you said earlier, you know, you, you think you've played the favourites there. Um, there was a lot of pressure on them to live up to that tag. Do you think they, they did that today? Yeah, obviously they did. They they came out with a win. Um, you know, I think they, they there is a lot of pressure on them. Um, but I mean, it's just nice pressure to have. It's always nice going into a World Cup knowing that you're one of the uh, one of the favourites going ahead, um, and you know, and they, and they obviously playing like the way they, they have been the last couple of years. Um, you know, they're quite a dominant force uh, batting, especially batting. They're quite you've got guards like Ruti holds the whole team together. J Roy up front, there, Johnny Besto. They just they all top well, all all batting line up to number eleven. Um, and then obviously you got their spin twins with um, Moen and Adil who control the middle and now they got Jofra Archer up front there, he's always going to pick up a couple of wickets up front there. So they, they, they're they going to be a tough team to beat, but I'm sure a lot of guys will, will try and give it their best shot at them. How far do you think South Africa away from having that kind of, such a complete team as England seem to have? Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, we are working at it at the moment. And I mean, working at it. I mean, we still got a couple of youngsters in the team, and then obviously with the older, the older crowd in our team also are trying to help out. Um, so there's a whole mixture going around. Um, some guys are still trying to learn their game. Um, other older guys are just trying to help us get through uh, through our careers also, and just trying to get the best out of us. Um, but yeah, I mean. England, it didn't happen for England over over one series where they became this dominant force. Obviously, it took them time and time. I mean, Johnny's been playing for years. Uh, ben Stokes and Ruti's been playing for years, but only over the last two, two, two years, three years that they've become this real dominant force. And finally, for me, is there a, is there a danger that with this uh, South African team that you know, judging on your, your history in this tournament, which hasn't been been the best, that you know, you, you don't want to slip into some kind of negative mindset do you after this loss and, and, and think that they go it's not going to be your year again no i don't think at all we're not we're, we're not going to get into that sort of mindset i mean the guys are here we come here to have fun and enjoy it i mean especially that there's one or two other teams that got that got more chance of really winning the world cup i mean the reality is we're going to have to play really well to give the other teams to beat other teams i mean and we understand that and you know, we're just coming, going to come out here and give it our best shot. Um, try and play the best as we can to our full potential if we, if we win, we can. Um, by understanding that there's other couple of teams that are also very strong, and everybody wants to win the cup. So 
I mean, it's going to be tough going forward, so you can't get disappointed. Obviously, people will be disappointed. We'll also be disappointed, but you know, after every after every day, the sun will still come up. Mm. No, I don't, to be honest, we haven't really looked at it. We're just coming out to play. I mean. Uh, we're just happy just to be here. Um, you know, if we've played the first game of the tournament and then the last game of the tournament. Um, maybe some guys they're playing too much cricket, too close, close to each other. I don't know. It depends how you see it. Um, you know, a break can also do you harm. If you have like a week off between games, um, obviously lose game time, and then there's there's all different factors that the way you can see it. But I don't think it's too bad. Um, you know, it's obviously some nice time to relax and and obviously time to play. Just, just finally, what's the update on Hashimi? He obviously had to go off with that head injury. Um, was he concussed? And is he, is he, is he obviously came back on? Is he raring to go now? Fit? fit? No, no, no. Can answer that. Just on the Okay. All right. We'll leave it there. All right. Thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Good luck. Thank you.